thing. I think um, it is time to admit that um, uh, Ka Avat would would um, would take time before he adapt to uh, this new system of of, um, of of the Gunners. You know, of course, um, I'm not sure is meant to replace uh, Shaka Jaka. Uh, in the L S C M role, but uh, he's left to, for uh, uh, he's left to the coach to know what 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 he is doing and how he intends to integrate uh, this uh, particular uh, player into the starting eleven. Of course, I need to be very frank with you, Farid. Um, Avat has been. One of our weakest link in the uh, 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 since uh, the season began, he has been uh, most mostly targeted by the the opponent because of you know um, uh, a lack of um, awareness, understanding of the game, and then uh, the synergy between the players. So. Um, Overall, I, I just feel that um, we are just getting started. But um, so far, uh, Arsenal have had a fairly um, a strong start to the season. Actually, I'm actually quite impressed with Arsenal. I mean, all things considered, the Havertz one is a particularly shocking one for me. Well, it's one of the biggest surprising transfers. I mean, as a Chelsea fan, I know exactly the kind of player Havertz is. And... Most Chelsea fans were not too sad to see him leave the team. And for the amount of money that Ateta paid for this player, it was a little bit shocking that um, yeah, yeah, a club like Arsenal, who seemed very very settled in the kind of play style and the kind of players that they had in, and wanted in their team. You know, their midfield three was a, a very robust and fluid um, three. You know, Pate, Shaka, Odegaard... Um, and Havertz really isn't like any one of them. He's he's a ball carrying um, centre mid at Chelsea. He was playing as a striker, so people were really wondering what Ateta's plan was for him. And I think already deep into the season, I was going to actually touch on on him later on as like maybe one of the the worst players so far this season. But for the amount of money that has been paid for him, the impact he's had, uh, I don't know. It's, it's been it's been a little mixed. Um, and as a, as a Chelsea fan, I'm very happy because it's good to see you guys are not enjoying, you know, one of our, our players. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm still curious to see what Arteta's plan is for him because Arsenal fans trust Arteta and they trust that he has a plan. I mean, he wouldn't just spend 60 million on a player that a club like Chelsea were happy to to offload. So I guess time will tell. So that about wraps it up for this episode of the Football Breakdown. If you want even more information on all the things we've discussed today, then you can check out our website, telecomasia.net, for all things football related. Make sure to check out even more content from us on our social media channels, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. We will be back next week with another episode of the Football Breakdown. So until then, take care and I'll see you next time.